Alrighty, so after that, let's go down here. Because this is the one that we opened up as a secret passage by blowing up the thing. So hopefully, this one's the optional route. Let's let us back to the entrance area. So we can open that now at least. Okay. And there's you down here. That's your thing. I won't let anyone die. Troll. Chaos really is just killing it in this area. <laughs> He's really good. So glad we got him on our side. Red door? Yes. We don't have the key for it yet. Now I can open this. And then go through here. And this, all this gets us a guard cleaner. What? <laughs> what does it do? Clear status abnormalities while guarding. Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I am thinking of mixing up our weapons a bit. Because I don't feel like we're getting much advantage out of um, doubling up on the same weapon. But then again, it doesn't even matter at this point because the one we have equipped is just the best we have there. So. There's some synergy there. So now when she on guards with the mech, she recovers health and clear status effects. That actually seems quite good. I think I'll go with that. Well, all right then. Let's make our way back. And we're back. <laughs> so yeah, that was a worthwhile little excursion. A nice little thing for that. And now let's move on. Into the sewer level. Because there's always a sewer level. <laughs> What the hell are you? What the hell are you? I don't think I want to know. Hmm. Ether packs, lovely. That's up to where we just were. Understood. Okay. Is that all that's here? We can't get down there from here. Can't blow that up. Alright, then, just one way to go. Fair enough. Unless I missed a uh, obvious secret there. Which is genuinely possible. <laughs> Has been known to happen. Gremlins and Skyfish. Oh, great. I'm immediately reminded of those things on the uh, Wuglin Day that kicked my ass. Judging by the fact that it boosted there, I think I'm accurate in that assessment. Acid rain, right? Ooh, didn't get to find out. I assume they're going to do the same thing. They damage us and heal themselves at the same time, which is quite nasty. Thankfully, they die pretty quickly, so... Alright. The fish has swords. I guess you could say it's a swordfish. Moving on. Uh, game gives me a button, I'm gonna press the button. I guess it opened that door. Presumably. Yep, I was right. Oh, it hurts the skyfish though. That's interesting. Good to know. So, yeah, they are basically identical to the ones on the uh, on the Wuglin Day. Might even be the same stats considering they die pretty quickly. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Okay, 
Okay, that doesn't seem fair. I boosted Shion so that she would get her attack next. Because we cannot override their boosts. They can override ours for some reason. That I don't like. But whatever. Because if Chaos didn't kill that there, it would have used Acid Rain and it would have killed us. Because it over over overwritten. Overrighted? Over it. Shion's boost. Which it shouldn't be allowed to do, because we can't do the same to them. Anyways. Let's keep on going. Oh no. Another one of you. Hmm. Well, let's kill it anyway. At least I know what to do with these things now. Oh, there's two of them. Ah, nothing to worry. Nothing, nothing too concerning when you actually know what you're doing. Problem is, though, fighting those will burn through our resources. Which is not great. Hmm. Right down there seems like the way to progress. So how the hell do I get over there? And presumably... Maybe there's another way through. I'm, ge I'm guessing we go through there, that's the way to progress, then eventually we'll find a ladder that takes us down, we can go through here and get up to there from there. There doesn't seem to be another way down. I'll have a quick scan around though, just in case. Because this could be a way down. Uh, this might even act. Yeah. I think I'm right with my first assessment. Because it seems like this might be the way to progress. Because there's another exit down there it looks like. So I'm guessing we have to come through this area. Understood. We'll worry about it later. At least the door's open there so. We can grab the treasure on the way through. Anyway moving on. Uh, back out into these guys, okay. So I'm guessing that's going to be a, a a trend with this dungeon. We're swapping between the two perspectives. Rejuvenator, nice. I'm sorry, what's the name of this cafe? Undergirl. I think that one might have to go back to the drawing board, I'll admit. Unless you're catering to a very specific certain type of clientele. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh no. Robots! Do not hesitate if you wish to live. Yeah, these are the soldiers that are fighting last time. In the uh, first area, these are new though. Oh, I've got, I've got to show this off. Uh, this is Momo's transformation ability. <laughs> Yep, she got a new outfit and she got taller. <laughs> Though to be fair, I do actually kind of prefer this character design. I, can't, I kind of wish I could stick to it. This is actually quite good. But yeah, I don't exactly know what it does. These soldiers are not too difficult. 
Really, the only problems I was having with the uh, first area was that because you had a group of four of them, they just kept piling up damage on you over and over and over again. And even though individually they're not that challenging, it kind of added up, you know? Stolen his back. <laughs> she can do that now. Sure, why not? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that is not effective on them. Good to know. Still killed him though. Oh, and it wears off after a couple turns, alright. So yeah, the transformation doesn't seem all that good, I think. At least, at least so far it doesn't. You can only use it once as well, so yeah, one time per battle. So it just doesn't seem all that good, really. Unless I'm missing something about it. This is pretty fun, though. Prayer, a heavenly gift. Required medkit. She just gets a random item. <laughs> it's like her abilities are interesting. I just don't know if any of them are useful. <laughs> so yeah, when we actually get back to having the full uh, team, I don't know how often I'm gonna actually have her in the main party. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't seem all that good. Unless I'm missing some secrets of how to use this stuff effectively. Which again, is possible. Anyway. I think I'm going to avoid some fights. <laughs> Just because they, they do take a minute. Milsha Park Station. Can't zoom in and read that. Going to a subway though. You got any sandwiches in here? Ooh, a save point. Uh, yeah, let's make use of it. So we've got a couple of ways to go. We're down there. Or up there. And through here. Let's check out this way first. Because this seems like a more optional area. I can't see. <laughs> Oh, we have the key for it. All right, what's our prize for this one? We get angel ring. That sounds good. Oh, what does it does it do though? Half EP consumption. Not bad. Don't know who I would give it to just yet, but that is definitely a candidate for skill extraction. I'm guessing it's going to be expensive, though. 1,000, yeah. That's going to own its level 5 as well, so we can't do it yet. Fine, then. You can share the ability. Oh. <laughs> So that's something I've been missing out on. All right then. So all this time I probably could have transferred um, like Chaos's AOE healing or even Chion's. Okay. 
Can I transfer Starwin? No. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. That's something to take note of. So now I know how that works, fair enough. See, this is what I get for just playing around in the menu for a bit. I figure out some stuff. And yes, I do realise it actually says it says it transfers the skill in the uh, help text to the bottom. I just never read it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would have made it easier. <laughs> uh, we're figuring it out. We'll get we're getting there eventually. Oh dear me. Anyway. So now which which escalator do we go down, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> 